So hi guys, Lubel Trang here, the IT veteran, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to register your unified devices into the unified network controller. So let's get started. So as you know, um, unified network controller is a software-defined uh, networking equipment, meaning um, the intelligence of all of the ubiquity devices that you will be using in your infrastructure uh, needs to be hooked up to the unified network controller because that will be the brains of your uh, network and Wi-Fi operations. So um, let me teach you how to uh, register your unified devices into the unified network controller. So let me just share my screen here. And as you can see, I'm already connected to my Unify network controller. It's under Lafayette Hotel. And this is actually blank, okay? Um, there's nothing loaded here. Everything is under the default settings. Okay, the site, um, it's already, uh, this is the only thing that we have touched here for this uh, configuration. And we tackled this one in a previous video. So what we're going to do now is before we register our unified network, uh, unified uh, security gateway, we have to create a new network. Okay, we have to configure our network. So as you can see, this is the default network for the local area uh, for the LAN. It's 192.168.1.0 backslash 24, and the WAN is currently set to PPPoE. Okay, I've already pre-configured this one. Uh, with the correct uh, PPPoE settings coming from the ISP so that uh, once the security gateway registers, it will also download this configuration into its memory. So uh, common settings, let's just uh, use the default DNS 8.8.8 uh, and 1.1.1.1. Um, okay, so let's just save that one and that's already saved in a unified network controller. So. That's the only thing we have changed here. Um, we haven't created any wireless networks yet because we haven't uh, initialized on any uh, access points as of the moment. So let's just go back here to devices and you can, as you can see, there's nothing here. So um, there are two ways for you to uh, register your unified devices. One is via GUI and the second one is via uh, SSH. So we're going to be doing both so that you can see um, uh, how it's done okay, on both sides of the field. So let's uh, log in first to our unified security gateway. So here's the current configuration. Okay. So it's currently connected to the internet, but it's not connected to the unified network controller. So how do we do that one? Um, here at the configuration, there's a setting here um, that you can type uh, where your unified network controller will be located. So for this case, um, uh, the command that we need to type is um, HTTP, then uh, unify here would stand uh, as your controller's IP address or uh, uh, internet link. Then you need to enter um, colon 8080 backslash in four. So let me type in my the location for my unified network controller here. So HTTP, then the address of my unified network controller. Then colon 8080 backslash in four. Okay, so that's how you, then once you have typed this one, just click on apply settings and uh, your unified security gate will actually contact your unified network controller and try to register itself there. The second method that you can do if you don't have access to the GUI or if you're uh, a CLI type person, you can actually go uh, use a terminal emulation program and connect to your unified devices via SSH. So for this case, I've already downloaded Putty and I need to type the address of my unified security gateway. Then if I click open, uh, just hit yes there, and this is now 
uh, connecting to your Unified Security Gateway. So the default credentials via SSH is UBNP and the password is UBNP and that will get you inside your Unified Network Control. So how do we register it? How do we register the Unify Security Gateway via the CLI interface? There's a command called set inform. Oops, I have a typo there. So that's set inform. And if you press tab, it will actually uh, or question mark, it will actually tell you the complete uh, command for uh, the registration. So it's set in form, then HTTP, then the IP address of your Unify controller, then colon 8080 backslash inform. So for this case, let me just type mine. Okay, so set in form, HTTP colon double backslash. Um, I'm going to be typing the IP address this time for my Unify network controller. Okay, then colon eighty eighty backslash info. Okay, so this is uh, this is the method for in terms of the GUI, and this is the method in terms of uh, the CLI. So let's try with the GUI first. So just click on Apply Changes, and that will actually contact your Unify Security Gateway, uh, your Unify Network Controller, and try to register itself there. Okay, so. As of the moment, it's still uh, not showing up. So let's just hit a refresh here on our browser. And now you can see that the Unify Security Gateway is visible already on our uh, Unify Network Controller. Okay. That's also the same case here for your uh, PuTTY. Just hit enter and that will actually start the adoption process. Now, as you can see here, um, the status of our Unify Security Gateway is pending adoption. Okay? So what does that mean? Pending adoption means your Unify Security Gateway is trying to register to your uh, Unify Network Controller, but you still have to permit it to be accepted okay, on the Unify Network Controller via something called adopt. Okay, so if I click adopt here, that means I'm giving permission for this Unify Security Gateway to register to my Unify Network Controller. So let's just go in and adopt this one. The Unify Security Gateway. And let's just wait for it to communicate back to the Unify Security Gateway. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes for this one to happen, but there's a, te a technique here. The, um, that I have found uh, with Unify is that if the adoption process is taking a bit too long, um, just go back to uh, your SSH session and hit and enter again the set inform okay, command. And that will actually speed things up for your adoption process. You can also do it here at the Unify Security Gateway GUI. Just click on confirm and that will actually also speed things up for the registration of your Unify Security Gateway. So let's just wait for this one to adopt. And now, as you can see, it's now provisioning. Now, provisioning means it's now downloading the settings that we have configured here on our Unify Network Controller for the network part. Uh, it means the PPPoE and the LAN, and that is already being downloaded by your Unify Security Gateway. That's the meaning of provisioning. So if you have um, if you have new changes that you want to push into your uh, Unify devices, you can actually go in here, okay? Then go to manage device. Then you can actually do a forced provision. Okay? So if you want to force the provision, so as of the moment, um, it's still downloading the settings. So let's check the settings that we have configured. We did configure properly our, um, okay, so my uh, connection is already hanging. It means, uh, okay, hi guys, sorry about that one. Um, once the provisioning was completed by the Unify Security Gateway, it cut my internet connection because it did a network refresh and that stopped the recording. But let me just share again my screen here. 
And as you can see, um, the Unify Security Gateway is already registered uh, to the Unify Network Controller. And it stopped provisioning already because it already got downloaded the configuration from our Unify Network Controller. So let's just check the settings out here for our Unify Security Gateway. Um, here's the temperature and the WAN connection is here. And this is the IP address for my uh, internet connection. You can see that there's a LAN connection here already. Okay. Um, then on the ports, I have LAN 1 connected to my computer. Then WAN 1 connected to the internet. And uh, configuration, you can actually change the name. Okay, I've already changed the name of the Unified Security Gateway to Lafayette Hotel USG Pro A and just click on Save and that will provision and rename your Security Gateway uh, to that name. You have also have services here. You can actually register this one to your SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol uh, server so that you can actually do some monitoring on it and uh, logging. Uh, on the advanced, uh, we'll tackle this one on uh, a future video. Manage device is, this is where we can do custom upgrades, downgrades on our firmware. Force provision is, it means that you can actually force your provisioning. If you want this uh, device to be uh, removed from your unified security gate, uh, unified network controller, you can do it. You can do it here and you can also transfer this one, this device to other sites that you have for under your unified network controller. Then you can also do a download device in uh, info. Um, this is used by uh, Unify support for them to troubleshoot your device. And uh, common settings for this device can be accessed here at the settings. So you can actually click here and it will route you to or forward you to the settings page. So that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this for this. <laughs> so that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this tutorial on how to register your Unify devices to the Unify network controller okay, using the adopt and set inform commands. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.